Hi everybody, it is April and I am in my craft room and today we're going to make a wall hanging featuring log cabins and a cross. Several months back on my channel, I had a drawing and what the winner won was a quilt. And my sister-in-law, once the drawing was over, made the comment that she was disappointed because she hadn't won the quilt. Now, should my sister-in-law really have to win a quilt in order to get a quilt from me? I don't think so. So I told her that I would happily make her a quilt and asked her for suggestions. So she sent me a picture of a quilt and I will insert it here. and asked me to make that. Now this quilt isn't really a quilt for covering up, it's more a quilt for a wall hanging. So I commenced to looking on the internet for a free pattern, a little tight. Not when it comes to machines and fabric, but you know, patterns, eh. So if I could find a pattern online, then I was going to use it. And lo and behold, on Pinterest, there was a very detailed pattern. So I went shopping and I found some beautiful floral fabric that was perfect for this cross. So let me share it. The collection that I am using is a line from Hoffman called In the Meadow. I also used a solid and it is called Hatched by Moda and Robin Pickens designed it. And of course I need my background fabric which is a white and I got this at Quilted Joy. Quilted Joy is the shop in my town where the long arms live and they have a wonderful selection of 108 inch fabric. So I got a yard of 108 inch fabric. It is a white on white and it is a Wilmington fabric and I always struggle trying to make sure that you can see that it's a white on white. Now this has been folded and creased so I am going to run an iron over it and then we will get started cutting our pieces for this project. Maybe you can see when I'm, as I'm pressing this fabric, you can kind of see it, it almost looks like a white shirt and someone painted and got paint on their white shirt. That's kind of what this looks like to me. And I have this cute little bottle It says, what does it say? Nothing like a little color therapy to brighten your day. And this bottle has a bladder in it so I can push the nozzle and then let go and it's still spraying. And it's supposed to spray with no droplets. I will cut a four and a half inch strip and a two and a half inch strip. Start with that and then see how far that goes and cut some more out as I need to. I have new blades in my rotary cutters, so I should not have an issue. A handy dandy weight. Okay, that doesn't feel new at all. Wow, that feels awful. You know when you get those packs of rotary blades and it's just like wow I will use my Martelli so no it's gonna feel good oh yeah and then here's my two and a half inch strip mm, just does not sound good it's already cut at four and a half so I'm going to cut it at four and a half right overkill with the weight but that's all right yeah, I'm um, thinking that is just a faulty 
blade. And I have my two four and a half inch squares. Now I need two and a half by six and a half, two and a half by eight and a half, two and a half by ten and a half, two and a half by twelve and a half. Here is the first block that I've made. Now this goes on the right hand side of the flower cross. So I'm going to put this right here and then I'm going to show you how to place each block. It can be tricky because this block is the mirror image of the block over here and then you will sew your flower. Nope. Never mind. Okay, let me try that again. Four and a half. Next will be this, which is this. Then this. Then this. And then this and this, which are these two. So at that point, you've got this part of your block. Then you want to sew this one. Okay, so then you've got this rectangle. Then you wanna take your long white piece and add it. Then you're going to add this piece, which is the opposite, so it's here. So now you've got that. Nope, then you've got this longer piece. <laughs> Let me just sew it, I give up. <laughs> We're gonna take these two pieces. So here you have those two pieces. You need to sew this and this to this. It does not matter which side you sew first. Now you have this block. You can sew this and this. Doesn't matter which one you sew first, they are the same length as each side. You just have to sew one on one side and one on the other. Now you have this and you're going to put this on this side. So now we have what's beginning to look like this side. The next piece that I'm going to sew on will be this one. The next piece will be this piece and this piece. We are almost there. So now this piece will fit here and this piece will fit here. And then the last thing we'll do is add that. Do you see a problem with my strips? This is the long part put together. So now I will aim my camera at the sewing machine while I put this part together and then we'll be ready to put the whole thing together. We are so close. So the way that I'm going to put this all together is I'm going to put these three pieces together and then I'll put these three pieces together and then I will attach the top piece to this and then I will attach the bottom piece. My wall hanging is complete. I am very pleased with the way that it turned out. I like it. I like the colors. I like the flowers. This is a great print in the meadow by Hoffman Fabrics. And I think what I will bind it in is this, which is almost looks like an impressionist type of print. I like it. I like it. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Eat some chocolate and be kind to everyone. Until next time, bye. Today's chocolate of choice will be a Reese peanut butter cup. Mm-hmm.
that is all I need for the top two log clicks. Try this again. Print from somebody because the original where the picture letter blit 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 blit. Do you see a problem with a strip? <laughs> A little while back, after the drawing had been over, oh my gosh, 